offline earnings is probably the most important mechanic that distinguishes an idle game from a regular strategy or action game. It implies that as a player you continue to make progress in the game even if you are not actively playing, which is the essence of idle, right? But more importantly, it persists even when you close your browser, shut down your computer or turn off your phone. This feature enhances an innate feeling almost like an itch, compelling you to return to the game and check your progress. I first stumbled upon the concept of offline earnings in the Cookie Clicker game, and it blew my mind. Essentially, it made the game, which was already fun, much more engaging and addicting, making it almost impossible to resist. On the other hand, failing to implement an offline earnings mechanic into the game which looks and feels like an idol, reduces its appeal to the player. For example, the game I recently reviewed, called Darkroom, despite being an absolutely awesome game overall, could definitely benefit from the implementation of an offline earnings mechanic. Hi there! For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Yaroslav, an indie game developer from Ukraine, and today I'm gonna show you the process of implementation of an offline earnings mechanic into my game Get a Little Gold. In fact, offline earnings were the main theme I was working on over the last month. Now, before we delve into the implementation of an offline earnings mechanic in Get a Little Gold, let's first define how offline progress works in a nutshell. First and foremost, let's debunk the common misconception that when a player goes offline, the game continues running and calculating their progress somewhere on the server or in the cloud. I can confidently say that in the absolute majority of scenarios it's simply not true. In most cases, what actually happens when a player goes offline is that the game stores the system time once the game is switched off and then calculates the amount of time a player was offline when they turn the game on again. There is nothing easier than calculating how much gold you earned while being offline. When the game has access to the gold per second value and the number of seconds you were offline, it boils down to multiplying these two. That's exactly what I had been doing in the Flash version of the game, released more than 7 years ago. However, this approach has two major drawbacks that I'm trying to address while porting Get a Little Gold to Unity and mobile devices. First, it's extremely vulnerable for hacking. Since the game relies on the local times of the player's machine, it's incredibly easy for a player to manipulate their system time, instantly gaining hours, days or even years worth of progress. On the flip side though, Addressing this exploit is equally easy. The most straightforward solution is to use the external server to retrieve the actual time, preventing players from directly accessing or modifying it. And fortunately, from a new mobile version of the game, I have created such a server. If you are interested in the process of its creation, I'll leave a link to the video in the description, so please feel free to check it out. Now, with the game server in place, whether a player changes the system time or not, the offline earnings will still be calculated correctly. The second drawback is a bit more challenging to overcome though. Remember, just a couple of minutes ago I explained how the calculation of offline earnings is a simple product of gold per second multiplied by the seconds a player was flying. Well, this holds true only when the gold per second value remains constant and doesn't fluctuate based on other variables in the game. In Get a Little Gold, though, numerous parameters can influence the gold per second, making the offline earnings formula much more complex. For instance, researches in Get a Little Gold incur costs every second while running. Consequently, if a player goes offline during an active research, the offline earnings should take this cost into account. Now, in addition to counting earnings, we need to factor in costs. But what if expenses surpass profits? In such case, we might need to either pause or slow down the research due to insufficient funds. This makes offline earnings formula somewhat more complex, doesn't it? But wait, 
we should also consider special power-ups from Fallen Grades that can temporarily boost the gold per second value. We must factor in this boost as well, introducing yet another variable into our equation. The more variables we introduce, the more sophisticated and complex our offline earnings formula becomes. Eventually, it might become too challenging or even impossible to manage. Just take a look at how the offline earnings calculation method appeared in the Flash version of the game. Is there a way to reduce this complexity? Well, in the new version of the game, instead of relying on an offline earnings formula, I am now calculating the offline earnings in the same way they would be computed in the actual game. In other words, the game simulates the loop for the given number of seconds, executing exactly the same methods that would run during regular gameplay, excluding any graphic overhead. For instance, both the add gold and run research methods executed in the offline earnings calculation loop would be equally executed during actual gameplay. This approach simplifies the complexity of offline earnings calculations and considers every possible scenario that could happen in the game. The only downside is the speed of execution, as the offline earnings loop must run once for every second the player was offline. This means that if a player was offline for one day, the loop should be run more than 80,000 times. But while it does add up, even weeks worth of absence boil down to less than a second of calculation. So it seems that it would take years of player's absence before this issue becomes truly concerning. Now, with the offline earning system in place, I feel that I'm finally ready to launch the closed test for the game's followers. Although I still need some time to set up an actual server and test my custom server application, I hope to accomplish it in the next few weeks. If you are interested in becoming a tester, please join the Discord server. You'll find the link in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. For now though, have a great day, happy holidays and I'll see you in the next video.